Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brushstrokes. Just thought I'd bring you a, a quick little video today. Um, I had one of my subscribers ask what I was using for a stand for the motorcycle tank. So I thought I would show you what I was using today and show you the multiple uses for this stand. So this is just a stand from Harbor Freight. It's just a roller stand. It's the Hallmaster roller stand. These are like $17.50 at Harbor Freight. There's a little picture of the stand. And let's show you how I use this. I converted it to use a motorcycle tank on it. So here is the stand all set up. There you see it. And, uh, what I did here um, comes with this piece right here. And what I did is put this in the vise and just folded these tabs down so they're flat. And that gives me these nice little holes for mounting holes here. So as you can see, those are flat on the stand here. And then I just got some bolts in there into this wood. Um, I just took a piece of wood, you know, put a little hole in there. And then, you know, I just got a bolt that goes through here on the motorcycle tank. Um, and that way I can, you know, lift the tank up. You know, I can pivot it on here and get the underside of the tank as well. And it works really nice for that. So nice thing about having this stand like this too. It's got these little holes. I can just take that out. I can make different brackets for, you know, fairings, for fenders, you know, for, uh, you know, for bags, for multiple different parts um, as well. So, um, but that's not the only use I have for the stand, um, but yeah, it can be used for multiple different motorcycle parts. Um, but I have a few of these. Um, I have another one here that I don't have that piece on the top uh, because I use it as a mobile workstation as well. Um, this is a spray gun holder that I have. This is from Coast Airbrush. It's a, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but there you go. You can read that. Um, it's a nice little two gun holder. Um, I really like these. Works with the PPS adapters, which I use. Um, and these are the cheapest multi-gun holder I could find as well. These are, I think they're $25 or $30. And then they got a couple heavy-duty magnets on the back here. And there you go. There's part number for it, in case you're wondering. But I use this stand here for a multitude of other uses. Um, but typically, it's my spray gun holder. Um, that I can use around the house or weather permitting. I like to do my flake outside just because it's messy. So this is my mobile flake station um, that I can take outside with me. You know, I'll just have my spray gun. Obviously you can put two spray guns on there, but then I take my flake can. And then I got my little sprayer too. Nice thing about this thing being magnetic I can just, you know, put that right on there. Magnet holds it on there. And then I got my little mobile workstation here. So, you know, and then it's, I like these too because it's a nice little shelf here. You know, I can put my paint cups on there too. So, works great for that. And then there's a few other uses as well for this. Second here, take it off. And then uh, another use for this um, that I found, like it can be like a mobile little easel as well. So, you know, you can just take this, you can either, if you wanted, you could drill some holes in here. That way you could put, you know, bolt an easel right on there, you know, take it off or you can even, you know, just take a little clamp, you know, clamp your little easel on there. So, so 
So then you got a little mobile workstation too, so you can work on stuff wherever. If you paint multitude of different things, another nice use for it. If you paint hats or helmets, you know, I, I have this mannequin, foam mannequin head that I put this hole in. And there you got, you know, a nice little stand for you know, working on hats. Put a hat on there. You know, and get your little station and paint your hats, stocking hats. Or if you like to put helmets on top of, you know, a nice form, you can put your helmet on there too. Or what I do, I got I got a tennis ball that I just cut a little X out of. Right. Put on here just like that. Keeps that metal from cutting up a helmet. So you can just take a helmet, put it right on there. And that tennis ball helps from you know cutting up the inside of the helmet and it makes it nice and smooth so you can spin it around as well on there. So but yeah, those are just some of the uses that, you know, these great little stands work for, um, being super cheap. Um, you know, they just work great. Oh, another thing too, I thought of these, you know, if any of you do any traveling or, you know, do any booths or displays, these are adjustable height. Um, I think the max height on these was 42 inches, but... You can also drop it all the way down. It makes kind of a nice little mobile display too. So, yeah, it makes a little display stand. You know, you could paint those legs up even and have a cool little helmet display. So, yeah, that's all I really had for you today. I'm sure you can think of some other uses, but once again, this is just a Harbor Freight roller stand under $20 and has a lot of great uses. So hope you enjoyed, hope this was helpful. Um, hopefully some of you go out and get a stand and find some other cool uses for these. So I hope you enjoyed the little tips and tricks for today. Until next time, keep those brushes stroking.